okay so now uh, we have installed this and it is automatically setting to india that is great thing and also i have to check uh, the sim card so i will insert it so i installed uh, geo sim i will also connect to my wi-fi so here it is clearly showing that uh, it is uh, nothing phone one so i also did uh, backed up from that device to here so also they said uh, don't do the security setup here itself from there you have to set so yeah continue and uh, or I, i'll check what and all nothing any nothing features are there uh, skip skip i'm not going to use google assistant uh, change display setup always on display Just turn on Also, I want to make a note that if I am using an Android device, I most probably use the uh, stock Android, whichever is coming with the uh, manufacturer. Or if you want to use it any uh, custom uh, OS, I most probably will be using the custom ROM official one, which is fully encrypted and uh, what I would say, having the safety net, all the features, security features enabled. I mostly I'm not against any uh, porting ROM or something. It is really really great that we can uh, taste all the uh, varieties of uh, uh, customized ones like uh, MIUI, uh, Oxygen OS, and then now nothing and sometimes Color OS. It's all good to have it. But if if I have to use it as my primary phone as uh, this one, I most probably will be using uh, stock uh, custom ROM with uh, what? G apps and uh, encryption. So yeah. So equipment all system stability, nothing notification. Okay, skip. I know this. So this is great. And now we have installed this nothing OS, and it is. This looks good. So yes. Cliff interface. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, skip because I don't have any so default Android nothing so I'm using uh, nothing great so we are now in the home screen which is looking good and uh, I actually uh, like this uh, material design with the less uh, distraction and vibrant colors which is really really good and gives the aesthetic different kind so yeah they said it will be a little bit laggy but i'm not facing much lag here that is fine and torch yeah working so wallet and okay so here i can uh, you open this one and about phone and here i have this uh, nothing for os this one which is uh, january first security patch which is really really uh, great now processor said here everything is fine just device name just they have mentioned as nothing phone on okay experimental features tesla airport support so does it work actually so let me check So here it's not showing any icon. This is great and we have some more network settings. So this is pretty much look like a uh, stock and Google Android. So nothing much of a change. And OLT also seems to be working. So we have a, a features here baked in like a clone application, app locker, and notification bubble. So the main interface, this one, Glyph interface, which we don't even have it. 
but that is fine glyph light i can turn it off charging meter music equalizer so these features are all there okay let it have it so here now it is set it to none I nothing machine to this is good so this i will set it as my this one so even for uh, each contact we can set different ringtones that is great in my opinion so there are a lot of things which is been intuitively added intuitively added in this one which is good battery wise okay and this font also i really like so battery share okay i don't have wireless charger so battery percentage yeah i'll enable it and this pretty much stock android only so whoever will be using uh, samsung uh, miui and all when they first time they see it they will be like how oh, it's totally different but actually this is pretty much google uh, this one but yeah there are uh, quite a good amount of uh, work has been uh, effort has been uh, put into this which i can clearly see so display wise uh, i have uh, mm, nothing much so 120 and this one it will be 90 hertz display so it's supposed to work as expected so internet speed yeah this is one of the great 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 nothing is great i may buy nothing phone nothing phone 2a that is good in my opinion so here we have clock uh, widgets and okay so this now looks like a normal typical android but we can use we can even put uh, some okay oh, oh my god so we can customize it actually I have to always allow the location. Okay, not bad, not bad, but it is uh, much more limited or something. Hmm. So, I actually like this one. Mm. So, in customization, uh, it's pretty much looks like Android, uh, stock Android but we have a widget options added in the lock screen which is good and shortcuts they have added and more more nothing more okay and this wallpaper i would say check to this scrolling is on okay atmosphere on something is there clearly icon pack oh my god I'll set it as sun only. So layout I should probably increase to five. That should be great. Okay. So all the applications are installing in the back end. So we can I can check that one. 
but overall uh, in my opinion this uh, looks promising and uh, i will be uh, using it uh, as my daily driver for one or two days and uh, i will be giving some of uh, my opinion on this one so this is what my uh, initial impression on this one so we have a google uh, camera go which also works fine nothing much to complain so yeah if i have missed anything and if you want to see the particular thing in that uh, review video make sure you comment this on down below if you are using this device as your primary and if you want to watch other videos as well on this device make sure you subscribe to this channel and uh, give the bell icon and go to the play store playlist section to watch all the videos of redmi note 11 so yeah thanks for watching code mode